Hey what's up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a toy is made by affixing coaxially two thin discs each of radii r1 and r2 at the ends of a rod of length l when this toy rolls on a horizontal ground without slipping it rotates about the rod advances on a circular path and also rotates about a vertical axis okay if center of the rod moves with a speed vc find angular velocity of the toy about the vertical axis okay fine now if you analyze the diagram or the structure there are two discs of radii r1 and r2 both are different connected coaxially by a massless rod of length l now they are trying to roll on a horizontal surface that means these two bottom most point will always remain in contact on the horizontal surface so simultaneously if these two points tries to remain in contact they will form a motion they will make a motion which would look something like this i hope you this picture looks familiar because similar type of question came in je 2016 okay now this whole assembly will perform a circular motion actually it will have a angular velocity with respect to this axis which we will call the spin angular velocity it will also rotate with respect to this vertical axis which i will call the orbital angular velocity and this two angular velocities will create a resultant angular velocity which will be with respect to this instantaneous axis of rotation okay instantaneous axis of rotation right now if i consider that omega is the angular velocity with respect to the instantaneous axis of rotation now they have already provided the velocity of the center of the rod okay now if we want to write omega in the, as a function of this velocity at the center of the rod we must write v, omega equals to vc divided by the perpendicular distance from this axis right so if i have considered this length as y which will be r1 plus r2 by 2 because the radius is increasing linearly so here it will be r1 plus r2 by 2 so this must be y cos theta okay so this perpendicular length is y cos theta so omega is vc divided by y cos theta right now as i have said that these two angular velocities will create a resultant angular velocity omega now omega will be created by the cos component of omega s so omega s cos theta equals to omega so omega s would be omega divided by cos theta right now the orbital angular velocity will be due to actually the direction of orbital angular velocity will be cancelled out by the vertical component of spin angular velocity that is omega s sin theta so omega 0 or omega o will be equal to omega s sin theta right omega s is omega by cos theta it will be omega tan theta and omega was previously vc by y cos theta okay now just put the value of y r1 plus r2 by 2 tan theta by cos theta so now tan theta you can get from this small triangle so tan theta is perpendicular that is r2 minus r1 by l okay tan theta becomes r2 minus r1 by l so cos theta will be base divided by hypotenuse that is l divided by this length okay so l divided by root over r2 minus r1 square plus l square now just put the values you will get this answer okay now if you just uh, round it up Uh, to its nearest value, close, uh, closest value, it should be zero point one second, zero point one radians per second, which matches the answer given in the book. But the expression that has been given in the book answer key is this one. They have totally ignored this component. I mean, I don't think this answer is correct. Okay, and I think uh, the answer that I have provided is correct. Okay, but still you can. check you can comment down below that whether i am right or wrong uh, i have tried to provide all the necessary diagrams and equations to support my answer but your opinions are highly respected please uh, write down if i have made something wrong or okay please ask your teachers ask your friends discuss so this will be my final answer So I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe 
and if you like the video give a thumbs up and i'll see in the next one peace